Hey, sneaky looks like him. Yes, it's Tiny Core time again. It's Tiny Core 4.4. Just been released. This is going to be a really short one because not too much change on the top. It's all underneath mainly. Lots of little fixes and bits and bobs. But I'll quickly show you around. By the way, if you've got Tiny Core 4.3, you can upgrade. You don't have to reinstall. But hey, the size of it, does it really matter? Well, no, it doesn't really, does it, when you think about it. I've done a fresh install here just to make sure everything's all working. And on the whole, yes, it is working fine. Also, some of the apps I've installed here are not on boot, they're on demand. And if I'll show you what I mean here, I'll click on Firefox. It might take a little bit longer than normal to come up, because it's not on boot, this is on demand. But apart from that, it's super duper. Yes, it is Firefox 11, I will show you. So, latest Firefox is here, 11. Haven't any problems with it so far, okay? I've got to be bookmarks. I've actually uh, bookmarked the page for the release notes, etc, etc. I'm going to quickly go through this with you. The kernel's been updated to 3.0.21, so there's more ham radio support, there's other support for other stuff here. As you can see, it up resolves the kernel panic issue with CIFS and shares and mounts. Updated the app browser, updated SSH for CLI, I'm going to go through them a bit. Updated tiny core extension setup, etc. The installation is a breeze as usual, it takes under a minute to install, so there's no big deal about doing it or not. So, lovely, bleeding, jubbly, I'm me really liking it. Yes. So on the whole, not much to change, but I've installed a few bits and bobs here for you to have a look at. So as you just see, it was Firefox 11. I've installed Asunder as well, and Abbey Word. It's still the old version of Abbey Word, so here I'll show you what I mean. It's still Abbey Word 268, but obviously, if you want to, you can hold a new one yourself, if you feel up to it, if you know what I mean. Also installed Gimpy 2 here, and as you can see, it's whizzing away. I'll also open HTOP up for you at the same time, so you can see what's going down. Right, there we go. So with a Gimpy open, it's quite a lot. When you first boot the system, it's using about 20 meg of RAM. Then once you start using some programs, there is a bit of a memory hang on some of the programs. But it's no big deal really, because I've got plenty on here anyway. As you can see, it's hanging on at about 51. If this wasn't for the on-boot programs, it'd go down a lot lower. Okay, yes. What I was going to show you, yeah, I've loaded up Dead Beef for my music player. Don't forget you've got to install Pulse Audio or Elsa if you want to have audio. Also, don't forget to install Flash. Yes, don't forget, don't forget. I'll tell you what I'll do while I'm here. I'll just quickly get a CD. Should we get a CD? Yeah, we get a CD. I'll just show you how it works, okay? Just in case you think I'm lying. So I'm just going to chuck a CD into the dryer when it opens. In she blows. Thank you, boy. Then we can quickly go down to Sunda. And in theory, in a moment, it should come up. There we go. It should start looking for stuff in a moment. Well, it better hurry up anyway. So I do see to be book up. Yes, let's try that. It's getting the info from the things. Here we are, and there's all my stuff. Look, here's all my tracks. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to unclick quite a few of them. I'm just going to rip one, I think. Just the one. That one I do. Let's check all them out of the way. We don't have all them, do we? Just one is fine. That's number three. The Out Here Brothers, back in time for the 90s. Blimey. I've got it saving into OG, by the way. You have to make your own music folder for the music to go into. So if I open Preferences, it'll go straight to my music folder, and so you can find everything is there where you want it. I'm encoding into OG, just an ordinary one. You can do FLAC, you can do MP3, you can do WAVE if you really want to. It's entirely up to you. So we're going to quickly rip that, just to show you that it works. And as you can see, it starts whizzing along there. Pretty cool. It'll start going faster. The old disc is really turning now. Whooshing along, over the top. Lovely of the bleeding jubbly, but you know I like tiny core anyway because it's so small. This is core plus, by the way. If I do advise you to get core plus if you possibly can, because you get a lot more environments to play around with inside. If you know what I mean, okay. Lovely, one file created, so that's good for me. I can now close that down, and if I open up Dead Beef, in theory, it should come up. But no, I'm going to have to add a file. I haven't actually played around with it too much at the moment, but yes, it will automatically add your stuff if you want to, okay? So if I, add, I can add a file, can't I? That's in there. And is that the one there? That's in there. Yeah, that's the one. I'm going to open that. And there it is. We're all there. And we can play it away as long as we so wish to do so. So just making sure that Sunder works. I've not actually installed a DVD player yet, but then I haven't installed the codecs to go with it. But normally they will work straight out of the box. 
You know I like Tiny Core. Yes, it's super of the duper. Oh, it sure is. Go and download it. If you don't want to do it the Core Plus, just get the basic Tiny Core. It's 11 megabytes of downloadable stuffy for you to circulate over. It's easy to use. It will install onto a USB stick if you so wish to do so. This is a hard drive install, so it's super. Uh, even if you've got an old machine, it should play okay. Obviously, with a new kernel, if it's really old, it ain't going to play too good. But hey, that's what other distros are for. So yeah, I like it. Tiny Core is super for the duper. Lovely of the jubbly. I'm going to give it today 90%. Tiny Core 4.4 in the house. Lovely, lovely, lovely. See you later. Bye-bye.